Hi guys, it's Faye from Faye's World Media, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the main and most important features from Repurpose.io that matter the most for content creators like yourself, as well as the workflows that you can consider no matter the types of content you're creating, whether it's short form or long form. Beyond that, I've created a detailed companion guide. You don't have to give me your email. It's a link in the description below for you to check out where I list all the new features that we have discovered in 2023 from repurpose.io. If you're new to repurpose.io, it is a cutting edge online platform engineered to automate the process of repurposing and redistributing your content across various social media platforms. It is cloud-based and aims to streamline content creators' workflows, save them valuable time, and ensure that their content reaches the broadest audience possible. What are some of the key features I feel like you should know before you dive into repurpose? Or perhaps you were a user years ago, like we were, and now rediscovering repurpose and wondering what it can do today. Automatic repurposing. So it does have functionality to create snippets or you know video shorts directly from your existing content. The next three are content content templates, scheduling, and analytics. What are some of the workflows that you can consider? Whether you're a YouTuber, podcaster, whether you produce long or short form content, I've listed these details right here on the screen for you to check out. It just gives me a lot of clarity knowing that these are the optional workflows that I can consider for my content now and also into the future. Allow me to demonstrate quickly how to set up a workflow. Step one, you have to connect your social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram. Step two is that you're gonna to begin to create these workflows. Let me demonstrate one on the screen for you right now. This one I've chosen is a little bit more more complicated than the other ones. For example, years ago, when I interviewed the founder of Hani, I was at the time desperately looking for a tool that can help me easily repurpose my audio podcast content onto YouTube, literally one click, and I was done, super thrilled. But nowadays, the workflows can come in multiple folds. So I'm gonna show you how I repurpose my now YouTube long form videos into Instagram reels. Inside repurpose.io, yes, you can get started for free without a credit card. Under connections, this is where you see all your existing connections and so make sure they're all active. To add a new one, simply click on this button over here and this is your suite of connections. Multiple platforms uh, that you can connect to at any given moment and multiple workflows you can create. So to create a new workflow, that's the first option on the left-hand side. As you can see, I already have one. We're gonna show you a little bit from scratch here. So click on create a new workflow. Uh, one is you're gonna name your workflow. Make sure you create something that you recognize. Click on next. Now you're going to choose a source, an action and a destination. So a source in this case is always gonna be, in my case, YouTube. And you can see the source connection. You can choose a specific playlist, which is really nice. So you don't have to you know, really do this for your entire channel. You can be as specific as a playlist. You can use a choose a YouTube type as well, whether our YouTube shorts or regular videos. So for me, um, let's say I'm going to choose face for a live stream. Those are kind of my podcast type content. And here I'm going to say YouTube video type will be regular videos. I'm going to click on next and action is let's convert, let's upload a video and for this, instead of uploading full video to Instagram, I'm going to do snippets to Instagram. And then finally destination, which is Instagram. By the way, you see these options where right? you can actually also do it for Facebook as well as YouTube. And so I'm going to select Instagram and for Instagram, you can see it's already connected. I'm going to click on done. And once I do that, and this is what I will get. So YouTube snippets for Instagram, by the way, because I was literally uploading and pointing to my entire channel, look at this massive amount of content. Again, you don't have to do that. Now I can click on view content right here. And this will take a little bit. I mean, I, to be honest, I did walk away because I was, you know, basically sending my entire YouTube channel through repurpose. And um, you can see that I can see my full list of videos. This is sorted by recency. And let me show you what it looks like. So this is my entire list. And from the get-go, I noticed that for my video, now I have two videos ready to publish. Uh, by the way, I'm doing it manually. So I'm not asking Repurpose to automatically publish these shorts. You can if you want to. 
Um, but now you can see these are the intro and here's a quick walkthrough. These are snippets from my original video, which was five minutes and 17 seconds long. So if you want to edit any of this or preview it, simply click on the three dots here and click on edit. You know, I always like to do this just because it's not like I don't trust repurpose, but you know, content repurposing, you want to make sure it you know, it ends at place and uh, ends on a, a positive note. So here you can see that automatically grabbed three minutes, 30, 13 seconds and four minutes, eight seconds. You can see the start and end point and the duration of it. I can play just the snippet. So you don't want to click over here, but to play the snippet. I want to quickly show you guys how. So for this one, I noticed that when I ended, it was just a little bit short of a few words. So if I want to edit the end time again, I can simply click on that and say I want to end at 10 seconds. Just close uh, this window right here. Look, it's going to be updated automatically. So really simple. And once you're done, you can just click on uh, publish right here. So when you click publish, you will notice that the reels caption is something you can edit here directly. And you can also choose to burn subtitles right into the video. I really love this option. If it's important to you, you can choose to upload a cover image here, or you can choose a cover image from the video right here if you choose to. And you can also auto trim video to fit your destination, which means if you're not so sure if the video is going to fit or not, it will automatically trim off at the limitation. And that's it. You can publish now or check it out. You can schedule it. This feature is so essential for agencies as well as individual creators, because sometimes if you're like me, I batch on my work and I'll just get it done, say on a Saturday and I want to just leave it alone. This way I don't have to publish all at once and I can actually create a little content calendar right here. So that's it guys. It's really simple, easy to use. By the way, I also want to mention uh, our favorite tool for YouTube strategy, which is TubeBuddy. And if you look under AI tools under TubeBuddy.com, you notice something called suggested shorts. So instead of guessing or you're letting, let's say repurpose and make all that decisions for you, what TubeBuddy can do is that it will grab and read based on the analytics from your very own YouTube videos and suggest the shorts or the segments that are best to create your viral YouTube shorts with AI insights. So that's something to consider. As I mentioned previously, as you can see, you're able to use repurpose directly to identify these, what they call the video snippets or what we call, you know, video clips or shorts or reels, but how good are they? On one hand, you can manually change the duration, meaning the start and end point, but I get it, you know, holistically without fully understanding or remembering the content I've created, it's going to become a little bit harder to be able to quickly identify the start and end point. So that's when other tools that can come into play. One of which we have developed in house is called pod intelligence which is an AI driven human verified tools to help you navigate long form content could be podcasts, YouTube videos, webinars, and help you very accurately identify the start and end point based on topics and keywords. I'm going to include a link in the description below for you to check out. I do think it's going to be a great companion to repurpose as a tool. A few more things I do want to say about repurpose and tools like repurpose is that you do want to verify your work. On one hand, automation is so wonderful, but if you're just starting out, you want to make sure to check out that these clips are quality, that you're confident putting it out there. When I say quality is not just about a start and end point, but also the quality of the video. I know that some folks on YouTube expressed that they have seen lower quality being published. Also on top of that, it's important to verify that your social media platforms are connected to repurpose. This is something that repurpose will let you know if a platform is all of a sudden disconnected. It is absolutely not their fault. This happens all the time with third party social management platforms. So don't be frustrated by that. Thirdly, the concern of using third parties such as repurpose will reduce your reach and the number of views on platforms such as YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and TikTok. Is it true? Well, it probably is to a certain degree. We have tested our content as well using repurpose. So when we natively publish our content onto platforms such as TikTok and Instagram, sometimes we'll have, you know, over a hundred, maybe a few hundred views with repurpose. Sometimes we do see single and double digits. However, with that said, I still think repurpose is absolutely worth learning about the workflow, about what you can do, turning one piece of content into 20 pieces of content onto multiple platforms. It is our philosophy here at face world to understand that instead of nailing down just a few shorts or reels for a lot of money, a lot of time, 
especially if you're new to content creation, it's really important to test in volume or what James Clear call it, placing small bets. So I think that's really essential to really publish 30, 60, 100 different smaller pieces of content or snippets for you to understand which part of your content really resonates with your audience. Even if the views are small, you're going to identify trends. And from there, what you can choose is to double down on the types of content that works. So when I say content, I mean the content, what you actually said and presented in the content itself, as well as content type. Is it short or long form, different templates and formats you've experimented, as well as platform. You know, which platforms actually work really well for your content? For us, we've tried TikTok, but TikTok just hasn't really driven, you know, the types of engagement and audience that are right for our brand. On the other hand, YouTube has really been very kind to us. We do establish a lot of business relationships. That's why we want to continue to double down, focus on YouTube. And I feel like Instagram for us, again, is somewhere in the middle. I don't just want to apply these blanket statements to you guys because I don't exactly the type of content you're creating. This is to say that with data, with experimentation in volume, it's going to help you. So the last thing I will say is a lot of content creators and businesses will come to me and say, Faye, how long is long enough? We don't want to, you know, our budget is limited. Time is limited. Well, in general, I do recommend you place your bets in a minimum of two to three months and publish content regularly with repurpose. You don't have to wait a week, two weeks to publish a piece of content. You could literally churn out content every single day, 30 pieces of content, you know, every single month. And within three months, you're going to learn a lot. So I hope you find this helpful. And if you're looking to learn more about content strategy, maybe finding a thinking and execution partner for your business, for your brand, I'm going to list my contact information below. Look forward to your thoughts and hope we will connect. If you like this video, be sure to click on the next one. I'm going to see you there. Bye for now.